In God I will praise his word, in God I have put my trust. I will not fear, what can flesh do to me? Psalm 56, 4. Looking around the world today, it can be so easy to get depressed. The media brings us constant news about the horrors of the world, the dictators, the genocides, the civil wars, the plagues, the pestilences, the greed, the malice. It's enough to make anyone depressed. But we are not to put our trust in the world. Our trust should be in God's word, which is greater than this world and its evils. God's word consists of all of the works that he has already performed, and it also contains all of what he has promised, even though those things have not yet come true. There are thousands of promises spoken of in God's word. I've seen lists that are over 3,000 different promises, and some lists that claim more than double that number. When we focus on God's word and the promises that he has made, we become emboldened. Why should we fear what the world can do to us when we have been promised that the Lord will supply our needs, not our wants, but our needs. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 That the grace of God is sufficient for us. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians 12. Thing. That we are not doomed to temptation without an escape being made for us. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make way the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10.13 That all things will work out for the good of those who love him. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Romans 8.28 that we belong to him and will be given eternal life with him. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. John 10, 27 and 28. And so much more. What can flesh do to you? Not, what can flesh do to your body, which is not you, but what can flesh do to you, the eternal you? It can do nothing to you. Every event, all the providences of God, are appointed by Him to protect and guide you so that you may come into His glory with Him.